have increasing concerns about coronavirus. Right off the top, Virginia remains spared with no confirmed cases of the virus yet. But new cases continue to pop up in other states, including 11 new ones in New York. This afternoon, the Senate cleared more than $8 billion in emergency funds to battle coronavirus. That bill now heads to President Trump's desk. And of course, some of the people most vulnerable to coronavirus are the elderly. We saw that with the deaths in Washington state. And that has nursing homes here and elsewhere on high alert. 10 on your size, Chris Horn has more on that for us tonight. Chris. Anita, the elderly are especially vulnerable if they have underlying medical conditions to start with. And when you think about it, that pretty much identifies most people in long-term care facilities. But they're also well-equipped to deal with something like coronavirus now that they know what to look for. We're prepared. We're not panicking. The medical director of Beth Shalom Nursing Home in Virginia Beach is talking with residents, making sure they're not too alarmed about coronavirus. A lot of our residents still, they watch the news and they're savvy. And I haven't seen a lot of discomfort or worry. Often it's their loved ones instead who are calling the facility concerned whether mom, dad, grandma or grandpa are safe from coronavirus. TV, radio, doesn't matter, the newspaper, you're hearing about it. So that brings up questions for family members. It's a heightened awareness. Beth Shalom's director of nursing just received specialized coronavirus training from the State Department of Health that gets passed along to the rest of the staff. We've already rolled out one-on-one -on -one trainings, group trainings, and making sure that everybody is up to speed and not just our nursing staff. The training extends to dietary, maintenance crew, and all employees. But for the most part, the facility's plan is just intensifying what it normally does, taking care and protecting a frail population. If there's a flu, if there's a nasty cold, our population may be more vulnerable to getting that just because of the nature of who they are. So we just continue on the path of precaution and, and extra safety. And Beth Shalom says it has plenty of hand sanitizer, soap, masks, and gloves to help prevent the spread of any infectious disease. Chris Horn, 10 on your side. Thank you, Chris. Wavy.com has everything you need to know about coronavirus. There's a special section devoted to the virus under the news tab and a coronavirus button on our mobile news app.